An accordion can only play music if it stretches apart and comes back together. And that pretty much sums up our time in LA. Mary and I would pull apart, but we would always come back together. It was beautiful, yet difficult. But all of those challenges paled in comparison to what would come next. A move that would literally change our lives forever. This video was hard for me, honestly, because it represents a time in my life that was so uniquely beautiful, but then also extremely difficult. Moving to Uganda was literally the hardest thing that Mary and I have ever done individually and definitely as a couple. You know, we had moved from LA after living there for one year, and we had a really awesome community of friends, and I grew up an hour outside of LA, so my, my family was there. And now, we were entering into a new chapter of building our own family. That was the biggest challenge, I think, for me, was living in the in-between. Having these two completely separate worlds and trying to figure out a way how to navigate between the two of them. All of a sudden, we were parents overnight. For me, I went from JP the DJ to JP the dad. And I would lay in bed at night after dancing with our daughter, after having so much fun, but I would ask myself, who am I? You know, where do I find my identity? I mean, selling all of your stuff, moving across the world, starting a family, that's not something that many people do. Gosh, it's hot in Africa. It's like a million degrees with a million percent uh, humidity. I'm literally dripping. About six months into living into Uganda, I, I had this epiphany. And it was that I had been living my life looking at my present state from a past lens. For example, I never thought that I would live in Africa. I never thought that I would adopt or have children or even get married. And as beautiful as those things are, I found it difficult to be present in that joy and to just fully experience it. My brain would just say like, hey, your reality is not matching up with who you thought you would be. Most of the time it would be like, you know, thinking from my 16-year-old self or 21-year-old self. I wouldn't let myself be present to where I was at. And having this like huge realization, having this, you know, epiphany that, hey, I don't need to, I don't need to use any sort of lens of the past to judge where I'm at right now. Like I can be where I am right now and that's okay. And it doesn't, because it doesn't look like how I thought it would, that's okay, you know? Because I'm not where I, because I'm not where I wanted to be, that's okay, you know? And I think it was just a moment of clarity and a moment of finding grace for myself in the midst of this huge transition. Before that moment of grace, I wouldn't let myself feel any negative emotions. I would find myself separating both joy and sadness. But as I navigated this in-between of two different worlds, I realized that life is not either or, but both end. It's okay to feel sad that I miss my friends and family back home. And it's also okay to feel joy that I get to build a family of my own. 
And the ultimate key, the goal, is to be able to find the balance so you can feel both things at the same time. I want to take a second and introduce myself for those of you whom I haven't met yet. I'm JP McLeod and I live in Uganda, Africa with my wife Mary and our two daughters. My passion is to tell stories through music and video. And my hope is that those stories resonate with a deep part inside of you. And that as I share my successes, my failures, and all the lessons I've learned on the way, you and I can grow together. So I want to invite you to subscribe, to join me on this journey, to hit the notifications and actively engage with me so you and I can do this thing called life together.